shop today and uh, I get a lot of questions regarding engine tuning and uh, specifically why my motors seem like they make more power, why they seem smoother, why they sound better. And uh, there's a few things that, uh, that make a huge difference. And uh, today we're gonna talk about one of those things and that is uh, the balancing of your engine components. Uh, we're talking about clutch, clutch bell, fan, fan hub, and basically anything that's attached to the motor that could cause vibrations if it's out of balance. Okay, so let's take a look at it. All right, so before we begin, let's talk a little bit about why you wanna balance your engine components. Um, your, your motor's spinning at 16,000 for a 90 size motor, uh, around 18,000 for a 50 size motor, and that's really fast. If you can imagine anything out of balance spinning that fast, it is gonna shake your machine to death. Bolts are gonna be falling out, uh, boom supports are going to be falling apart. Um, the fly barless system is just going to be irritated as hell. Any access that the fly barless system is looking at, aileron, elevator, or rudder, uh, it's, it's not going to be able to just sense um, conditions as well. So if I can make an analogy here, it's almost like trying to run a marathon, except when you're running that marathon, you're in a room full of smoke. So you really can't breathe, you can't really operate as well as you should, and your results are not gonna be as good. So, without further ado, let's take a look at balancing this, these components. Okay, what I have here, first and foremost, is the Dubro Prop Balancer, and that comes with the wheel assembly here, and it also comes with a shaft, with a collets, a spring, washer, and a piece of silicone tubing. So basically you can balance anything uh, that is circular, has an ID that's eh, probably around 14 millimeters or so. And as you can see, I've already balanced this assembly, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so first take your assembly and put it on the balancer. And the first thing you wanna do is just note whether it rocks around or not. As you can see, this is not rocking around at all. Okay, now you wanna rotate the assembly 90 degrees and you can notice that it doesn't rock at all there too, maybe a little bit. Rotate it to the top and it rocks a little bit. Rotate it to the side and it doesn't rock at all and rotate it to the bottom and it just rocks a little bit. Okay, so to simulate the material that I took out, I'm gonna place this piece of aluminum foil tape on the fan hub. So this is simulating what you'd see if you hadn't bounced this at all. So I rotate it 90 degrees there and it falls pretty drastically. I rotate it to the side here and again, falls pretty drastically. Rotate it to the top, and again, falls all the way to the bottom. So with a brand new assembly, what you wanna do is find out where the heavy spot is, and mark it, and then start with a, what I like to do is a fairly large drill bit. So say 10 millimeters, eight millimeters, somewhere around there, and you wanna just take a little chunk of plastic out, and then remeasure. So you come back to this and you'd rotate it and basically you would keep taking out material until this thing does not rock back at all. Now note guys, I did not go all the way through on the material with this. It's only about maybe three millimeters deep. I mean this whole fan shroud is probably about five, maybe six millimeters thick. So you don't want to go all the way through. You just want to take a small plug of material out enough to where it changes the balancing of the fan. So now that our clutch fan and fan hub are balanced, we want to move over to your clutch bell and pinion. Now this assembly is not complete as it's missing the magnets, but same principle here. You want to rotate it 90 degrees, see if it falls. And this is a brand new clutch assembly. So rotate it the other way, see if it falls. 
Yep, it's falling to the same spot pretty much every time. Now let's rotate that spot up to the top. And sometimes it needs a little bit of assistance to get over the hump. But again, that spot rotates all the way to the bottom. Now on this assembly, to keep it pretty, you really want to take the material out of the bottom of the clutch. So, and usually it takes a very small amount of aluminum. It takes a lot less aluminum than it does plastic. So start with the little chunks. Maybe start with a, a four millimeter drill bit and uh, take little chunks out and get that thing to balance. All right guys, so that's about it for the balancing of your clutch, clutch bell, fan, and fan hub. I definitely recommend doing it. If you want more power, smoother, better running machine in general, balance your shit.